So for this one we're looking for a wavelength and wavelength is going to have to be found by finding the energy followed by finding the finding the frequency and then finding the wavelength. So the first thing we'll do is find the energy and that'll be 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18 joules 1 over n1 squared minus 1 over n2 squared Now I try and arrange this so you get a positive energy value which means that you want to put the smaller n first which would be 4 squared minus 1 over 11 squared over here. We do the math and it comes out to be 1.182 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. It's going to have the same unit as what we have here from the, on this constant. The next thing we need to do is calculate the uh, the frequency and for that we're going to use E equals H nu and nu which is the frequency is going to be equal to E divided by H. Now the E is going to be what we found up here 1.182 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. The H is Planck's constant which is given to us here 6.6 whoops 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds and that comes out to be 1.784 times 10 to the 14 hertz or if you want seconds to the minus 1 is the other way of expressing that. Once we've got the frequency, now we can find the wavelength. C equals nu lambda. Now lambda is the wavelength, so I'll put this over here. Lambda is going to equal C divided by nu, nu which is the frequency we were just found. And that's going to be 2.998, that's the speed of light, times 10 to the 8th meters per second. That's C, the speed of light, divided by the frequency, which we've got over here, 1.784 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or seconds to the minus 1. That equals 1.680 times 10 to the negative 6 meters, that's got four significant figures. But we need nanometers here and the information we have not got here but should have is one nanometer is equal to 10 to the negative 9 meters. And that's going to give us 1680 nanometers. And just put a dot in there to make it four significant figures.